What is up? What is going on? Dave at SVA Card Collectors. Tepid and morning to you. It's a miserable day here in New York. It's rainy. It's cold. Um, it just sucks. Didn't watch any football really uh, yesterday. Just wasn't in the mood to. I'm glad I didn't because my Jets once again lost to the winless Bengals. So if you haven't gotten a win yet, just come play the Jets. I was happy that the Patriots lost. That made me happy. And uh, Baltimore uh, played well against the 49ers. So they won 20-17. to So I kept up on that. Um, I, I still see people talking about, oh, should I invest in running backs and, and things like that? You know, Josh Jacobs. And sure, why not? But it ain't going to last. It ain't going to hold up. <laughs> like, I, I don't know what to tell you. Like, stuff just isn't collect. I... I just stupid. I just get annoyed. I think I, I, I'm more frustrated with football because I don't understand it. Because it's such a, well, it's just a quarterback driven um, investment platform. So it's like everything else is, well, it goes up and down based on their performance. And uh, that's about it, you know. If they do well that year, maybe it'll go up. Even if they don't, you know, it might not because you know why? They're running back. It's just like stupid. I, I don't know. I just don't like it. Um, I'm mean, getting annoyed. That, that's really what it comes down to. So I lucked out. Well, I don't know if I lucked out, but I found five. That's right. I actually found. I found more, but I bought five uh, mega boxes at Walmart for a Panini Prism um, basketball. I was buying them to open them. It wasn't to... Um, as an investment strategy, you know, or, or things like that. <clears throat> I just wanted them. I've been, we've been talking about it for God knows how long. You know, I wanted to see if I can get a, a Zion. Um, it's a cheaper way to go than buying Hobby because Hobby's prices uh, boxes are going through the roof right now. Excuse me. And I'm sure Panini first off the line, I'm not getting any. So... I did see some people um, pre-selling the first off the line Panini Prisms that has that Dutch auction that I spoke about on Friday, starting at $1,000 and working its way down every two minutes. Um, I wonder if it goes down by like a dollar or like 50 cents or something, <laughs> like something stupid where it would take forever. Um, but yeah, I mean, they were going for like $3,000. So... If you just hit on one, if you got one guy who does it, you're golden. You know I'm gonna buy it at a thousand bucks. So it wasn't a dumb move. It's a hail mary move. Um, for and you know if you weren't smart, oh that that return would be deadly. Oh God, I would definitely be like no no returns. Even though it doesn't matter, you bet you can return 14 days. So you can do that all you want, but. Uh, um, yeah, they're still going to return it. Um, so you got, so I, I bought these boxes. I bought them for, they were 37 $38. I think in Target, they're like 50 Um, so I bought five of them and I love the couple things. Um, you know, my thoughts on it. Hey, no, I did not get a Zion. I didn't get a regular Zion. I didn't get a silver. I didn't get a Barrett. I didn't get Morant. I pretty much didn't get anyone. Um, I got, I did get a bunch of rookie cards, you know, 25, 20, 25, 30, something like that. But, you know, who the hell knows? And I got three um, rookie silvers. Uh, the rest I got were silvers of, of no names, and I got 150 points on one. Um, they have a bunch of legend cards, legend base cards, or, you know, players who don't play anymore yet they have to be in a base set just like baseball which is just moronic to me um i did get a lebron james i got a lot of doubles <clears throat> for the five boxes i got a bunch of doubles for, uh, of guys um which i don't like unless it was you know zion then i'd be very happy about that but um it seems to me and i've been noticing this more and more that um i should be buying like two 
in one place, two in another place, two in a different store, because then I'll get a mixed variety of things. It seems like a lot of cards in the same case in retail, I get a ton of doubles. It's like the same sequence. And maybe it is the same sequence everywhere, but I, I, I don't know. It just to me, it seems like I, I, I tend to get them. Um, the pink refractors are really nice, but I only got, I got uh, however many, maybe 50 of them. And out of those, maybe I got three rookie, four rookies. And, you know, you ain't getting anyone special. You're going to get the guy who's on the bench, who's watching the guy on the bench playing. So he's like the, you know, the 18th player. They're like, but Dave, there's not that many players. I know. I Don't you get it? So that's who you're getting. Um, I did get a couple. I got a bowl bowl um, silver. Um, I got this guy, Sibo, from Detroit Silver. Um, but I, if it was me, again, I wouldn't buy these cards, even though I do like the pink ice cards. I would go and find yourself some hangers and buy those. I've been seeing on you know people opening up cards, and they tend to do a little bit better. They get a little more you know variety, and they're getting a little bit more uh, different like refractors and stuff like that. They're hitting a little bit more, you know, silver in a better rate, you know, ratio. Um, 38 bucks ain't terrible. It's not the worst thing in the world. So, you know, I would buy those instead of a blaster. Instead of two blasters, I would buy that. Oh, yeah, just no, cut right in front of you. And break, good. Oh, what a jerk. So, somebody cut me off, then broke, and then made a left on a double line. Yeah, no, I can't say that. Especially driving by a school zone. So, um, that's I've been watching a lot of um, retail breaks, and um, you're either very, very lucky, or you're spending a ton of money getting a lot of boxes, and you're just because you have so many, you're able to get a card or two. Um, I think Zion's are not in every box. You know, it's not like they are prevalent. I think they will be eventually, but right now they are not. It's, they're not popping off um, like I thought. I thought I, I thought I would get a Zion rookie card or a Morant rookie card, one of them, you know, out of this, this whole thing. Um, I was surprised that I didn't get it. I got an emergent one, and that's like the, that's like the rookie debut of... Uh, of base, you know, basketball cards, you know, yeah, it's nice, but nobody wants it, you know, they sell it, everybody tries to sell that right away, and that's what I'm trying to do, um, I got a hype, hyped, uh, LeBron, so I'm trying to sell that, so I, I do have a couple of things that I'm trying to sell, just to get my money back, and really when I bought this, the whole point of it was to buy it, keep all the rookies, and sell everything else, and then whatever money I have, and just sit and wait on it, um, that's really what I wanted to do, um, uh, that was my investment strategy. I, I knew this wasn't, you know, for me to buy these and flip them. It, you know, I, I would just be probably making my money back, if that. And um, I'm, I thought if I can get $100 back from everything, I would be happy. Right now, it's slow. Um, I guess people are buying, but they ain't buying my crap. Maybe I got to lower my prices even more. It's, it's, it sucks because you see people and they go for like one card goes for an exorbitant amount of money and then everything else goes down. And it's not the first one. It's just random. You know, just, you know, one sold for 15 and then there's other ones that sell for three bucks, four bucks. And then there's another one that sells for 10. I want to be that guy. I want to be the 10 guy. But that never works out. I always have to lower my price like a chooch. Um, but so you got that. So that's my take on it. I think you should go for the hangers or even the um, packs. The packs are $2.99. If you can get the whole sleeve and pay 100 bucks, it's a better deal with regards to the amount of cards you're going to get. Um, that I have not seen people open, though. I don't know, you know the ratio of silvers in a box. I have no idea. I, I couldn't tell you. I'm thinking the best bet is buying the hobby box, and you you'll get a better mixture. You get better cards. Um, but you're paying a lot of money for them. I think it was a two, three. Uh, you know what? I'm going to look at it real quick because it was st 
stupid money. And uh, Panini Prism. People love this hobby box. There we go. Half case is 2200 So divide that by six. You think I'm doing that, my, that math in my head? You're out of your mind. 350 360 bucks, 366 but I'm sure you can find something a little bit cheaper. But, um, yeah, no, that's crazy. What I think, you know what was the better retail rip? Was the draft. Panini Prism draft picks. I have much better cards in that, in retail, than I did um, with, um, with the mega boxes. Um, it's a good price point, you know, 38 bucks. If you're just buying one just to rip, it's not bad. Um, if you're buying a slew of them, I, I don't know. I think I'm, like I said, I think the hangers, I would spend more. Try to retail uh, the packs, I would try. Um, or if you're going to ball out, then just get the box. Um, so that's my hot take. I don't have any, uh, you need, like, when you do a hot take, you have to, you have, like, a noise that may come, that's being made afterwards. Um, that that has to do with audio production, which I have none. A lot of people, I've been listening to other podcasts, they have all this great audio production. That must take a lot of time. Um, to me, it's just a waste of time <laughs> because I'm going to spend, I would spend hours trying to uh, time it correctly or put it in the right spot, and ain't nobody got time for that. I got bronchitis. Ain't nobody got time for that. I don't. I know I don't. Um, I'd rather just spit out stuff every single day than just do it once a week because once a week, a lot of stuff is old, you know, you know, it's already been talked about, at least here, I can tell you, Hey, if, if I notice it, I can at least tell you a day or probably the following day. If I notice something, um, the other thing I want to talk about, I'm moving right along to, um, draft, uh, Bowman draft. Cards are already out. Card shops got them early. They gave them to their people. And instead of them going, no, I'm not going to post my stuff. Yeah, no, they are. They are posting it. And I think they got the first uh, the first pick, Rauschman or whatever. The, well, I don't, know the, I don't know the guy's names yet. If I buy a box or two, then I'll start knowing their names. I'm not going to learn them yet. <laughs> like, I know 28 uh, Bowman. I know those guys, but... Uh, 2019, yeah, good luck. It's going to be interesting because I, I wasn't going to buy a box. I might, um, and it'll be nice to see, like, having two or three years of guys and knowing who the guys are and then watching them go up and go, oh, wait, I know I have that card. I can go back. Um, but I got some time for that. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a jerk-off thing to do to your local card shop because they can get in trouble. And it's a jerk-off move on their part because they shouldn't be giving the stuff out early. They should be playing by the rules because they're already having a hard time getting cases from tops, from the breakers. They need to uh, play nicely. Um, that's what they got to do. But, all right, I, I think I'll dive into draft more once I start seeing people opening them up. Like I said, I'm not going to buy a box right away. Um to buy packs is tough because I'm sure they put it, the autos in the same exact spot so you can scumbag the box. Um, you know, open if a brand new box, you'll know where they go. I think last year's they were the second ones from the top. Maybe they're the same thing. That's the way they are all the time. Um, a lot of people say Super Jumbo, where you get the five autographs, is the way to go. But that's a that's a pretty pretty penny. Um, I think this year I'm going to try to hold off and. Um, buy lots of it, you know, not a lot, but like lots of them because this definitely went way too high, price is too much, um, and the sets don't go for that much, so I'm going to try to pick them up that way, but all right, svacardcollectors.com, download the Flick Chat app, just talk to me, just be my friend, just, just hang out with me, <laughs> all right, guys, you know, uh, you, you already know what to do, so buy some cards and go broke. Later.